I'm Wade Markham. I'm an associate professor in the School of Nuclear Science and Engineering, and my area of research and emphasis is in thermal hydraulics, specifically experimental thermal hydraulics. So in the end, everybody gets energy um, in one way, shape, or form, and, and um, it turns out that nuclear reactors provide about one-fifth of the U.S.'s energy production. Um, and the focus of our group is to make either existing reactors safer to operate or, or conceive new, new ideas and better um, um, operate new concepts, prototype reactors. As we better understand um, how reactors operate and how, how the, the physics of the, and operations of a nuclear reactor, we, we continue as a society, as, as an industry, um, improve upon those operations. And so we go through a number of different, a number of different ways of, of increasing power, and we, we typically call them power up rates in a reactor. And, and um, if, if one can identify a power up, up rate even on the order of fractions of 1%, oftentimes the, the business model pays off for itself to invest the capital up front to identify um, those potential increases and, and therefore move that, that margin. So we have a, a new uh, large-scale experimental loop that's being assembled and um, going to be used here over the rest of this next year and the next couple of years to support um, improving an understanding of fuel rods and the cladding itself so that we can potentially do operate our reactors in a couple different new spaces that they have never really operated. One is the plausibility of operating them at higher higher powers, uh, which would allow for the reactor to produce more power, provide more energy to a larger population. And then the, the second outcome of this project would also include the potential to extend the lifetime of a given fuel's use in a reactor. Um, by increasing the longevity of fuel and by better understanding those failure limits and potentially producing um, more power, this, this particular research can lead to upwards of tens of percent in overall increased uh, efficiency. It, it ultimately impacts our society in that, in that everybody's cost in electricity drops as a result of that.